Hey, this is the Headset Historian. So I just wanted to make a quick video on the settings that I use for the Pimax Crystal with Silent Hill 2 with the Unreal Engine VR mod from Prey Dog. So I'll have a link to that mod in the description below, but we'll not go through how to set up the mod or anything like that. This is just for the settings. And um, just to give you context, what I've achieved here is 72 hertz. That's pretty much locked. So the average frame rate that I'm getting is about 71.5 and the frame time is about 13 milliseconds so it's not ideal but it's uh, very much playable and it's a decent enough resolution it's not going to be as crisp as you'll usually get from VR games on the crystal because this is quite a hard game to run but um, yeah hopefully these settings will give you a decent ability to play the game in VR um, what else do I need to say <laughs> uh, I think that covers it so it's just yeah it's it's tough enough to run in vr oh yeah also this is with a 4090 and a 5000 x 3d so it's a fairly high-end rig if you're on a lower end rig i'd suggest just turning down the rendering resolution until you get a playable frame rate so if you go into device settings what i have here is i've got it set to customize and then it's set to 0 0.75 rendering resolution I do have eye tracking turned on and I have dynamic foveated, foveated rendering turned on with performance but it doesn't seem to work in this game so you can ignore that and you can leave eye tracking off and it shouldn't really make a difference. So that's pretty much all the settings that you need to know within this and in terms of controllers and stuff it works out of the box with the Pimax Crystal controllers and then if you're using the Lighthouse faceplate that'll be fine too. So yeah 0 0.75 render res resolution. And then when we go into the game, um, what you'll want to do is go into display and graphics. Make sure that this is running DirectX 12. So if you've set it to run DirectX 11, you'll want to remove that flag from Steam or from the executable. So just if, if you haven't done that, don't worry. It'll be running DirectX 12 by default. So the settings as I've set them up is... Um, if you go to super sampling, turn on DLSS and put it to ultra performance. I usually never use ultra performance, but when you've got the render resolution set so high, I found that this was actually better than turning down the render resolution and increasing the DLSS preset. So go to super sampling, set it to DLSS, turn on ultra performance. And then if you're using an AMD card, you'll probably want to use XESS not FSR because I found that FSR had a lot of um, strange lighting artifacts so go into advanced quality settings next keep the resolution scalability at 100% shadows to low texture quality to high shader quality to high and effects quality to high these ones I set them to low and I set them to high and it didn't seem to make all that much of a difference but it did look a little bit better with them set to high but if you're finding it um, maybe stuttering or anything you can set these to low but I left them at high and it was fine. Then separate translucency of lens flare low. Scene occlusion I've set to HZB so it says here if you've got a slow GPU and a fast GPU use HZB and because this game is so GPU bottlenecked I figured that this was the best setting and it seemed to work well enough. Global motion blur turned off. This is a preference really, but I find motion blur, particularly in VR, is um, it's not a good option to have on. So I turned this off, but this one's more preference. SSAO off, SSR off, SSR quality low. But I mean, if it's turned off, it shouldn't matter. Sharpen set to high. And that's it. So you then launch into the game, and I found that I was getting pretty consistent 72 fps with about 13 millisecond um, frame times and that was typically at the worst it would go to about 95 percent gpu utilization and maybe the frame times would tick up a bit generally speaking it, it was underneath that so yeah hopefully that was useful these are the settings that I found were best for, for myself. Took a while to tweak these, figure it out, but once I'd done this, yeah, it was locked at 72, and it's very much playable. It's Again, it's not the highest resolution experience or anything. It's going to look a bit blurry, but it's, you know, if you want to play this game in VR right now, this is, uh, I think, about the best experience you'll get. It's not ideal, to be totally honest. It's I think we're probably a couple of 
uh, GPU generations all from really taking advantage of this particular title in VR with a headset like the Pimax Crystal. But yeah, hopefully that was useful and just wanted to put a quick video up there to help anyone that was looking for settings. Alright, take care.